Blade Seed Studios coming back at you with another video. Today we are going to be doing Dark Souls Remastered 100% Depths Guide. First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to literally turn right around from the initial staircase and grab this soul packet. I believe it's the soul of the lost undead, nothing too fancy. And then we're going to turn back around and start going down the other staircases. There's going to be a bunch of hollows with broken straight swords right here. And I believe that there's a dog. If you run under here, there's going to be a dog. And there's also going to be a man-eater butcher. They are guarding the large ember, which is used for upgrading. Running down into this water, there's going to be a couple dogs down here in a hollow. You're going to want to clear them out. And then there's going to be a man-eater butcher up above you that you're going to have to deal with. She jumps down after you talk to this guy or go into this room and you start heading into the new area obviously you're gonna want to break down these barrels and release the pyromancer especially if you're being a pyromancer because this is your first pyromancer that you're able to have access to he will eventually warp back the firelink shrine and you will find him there this is when our little potato head man eater friend is gonna join the party you're gonna want to smack them around they do have a possibility of dropping the sack which is their headpiece which it did drop there but i didn't pick it up in the clip Mind you, there is three butchers throughout the game, and you are guaranteed a drop rate from one of the butchers. That's for the sack helmet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue down these stairs. There's going to be a blob, glurg, whatever the hell you want to call it on the ceiling. It's going to try to eat your brains out, and you're going to want to pick up this soul of the nameless soldier. Pushing forward, we're going to get pretty close to our bonfire. There's some more of them blob, glurgs, whatever the hell. I'm going to pop them up on the screen here in a second. They're guarding the door to the bonfire, which is, you know, a little bit of an easy bonfire for the shortcut. You're going to want to run down the stairs, and there's going to be some rats to your right, and they're going to be guarding the great axe. If you keep pushing forward, there's going to be quite a few more rats. They can drop humanity, and there's also going to be a sewer chamber key very close. Now we're going to enter upon the tunnels, and we're going to get ourselves a soul of the nameless soldier. You can't miss this one at all. And run into the next area. There's going to be a channel or trying to buff these rats so you got to be real careful of it especially the big rats they can drop humanity and there is a humanity hidden in this box here there's also a large titanite shard hidden in the corner there's a possibility that you'll be struggling with this area so my best suggestion is to shield up and making sure that you've got enough vigor to be able to deal with it now we're going to head back into the tunnel system which in this instance is a little bit more confusing because there's a couple pathways that you got to go you got to take a right at first and then we're going to take immediate left and there's going to be a pathway in the middle there's going to be a rat guarding this item and this item is a soul of the nameless soldier and then we're going to immediately want to take a right, and this will bring us up to where the large rat is. He will be guarding the soul of the nameless soldier as well. There's really nothing more to this area, so we're going to return and go backwards, back into the tunnel system. There's going to be a hole in the ground. You're going to want to drop down into this hole, and there's going to be some basilisk here, which have the petrify ability, so you got to be really careful of that. Pick up your large soul of the nameless soldier here, and then just continue forward going up the stairs. There's going to be like this little pit with some ledges going around, it there was just a basilisk in the wall make sure to watch out for this hole i accidentally fell down it but fall down just end up running all the way back around and going across the ledge and jumping back across that hole there is going to be a humanity once you jump across that hole and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop down into this hole that we originally fell down and turn around and there's going to be the ring of the evil eye sitting there now you're going to want to run back from the direction that we fell down into and back up them stairs, but we're going to take a right this time. And as we take this right, there's going to be more basilisk, but there's also going to be an item in between those walls. There's the soul of the nameless soldier. We're going to continue pushing forward, and then there's going to be some stairs going downward with a small waterfall. At this point, you're going to encounter an invasion. His name is Knight Kirk. He's a spiky boy. He's got a bunch of spikes for his armor. He's got a spike armor, a spike shield, and like a barbed sword or something like that. He does do bleed, so you do got to be careful, but he is relatively easy to parry. Just parry him down, beat his ass, and let's continue forward. He has the possibility of dropping his sword, his shield, and humanity. If you run past where he spawned in, you're going to find this big open area. There's going to be some blobs and a couple rats. Then there's going to be a merchant tucked over here. And then there's going to be a door that unlocks using a key, which you will get by defeating the boss in this area. If you follow along the ledges, you'll see this staircase going up. This unlocks the shortcut to get to the bonfire, which 
my lord makes it so much easier if you've never gone through this area the bonfires here on your left this is where all the blobs are on the ceiling we're gonna run back to where we originally came from to where the butcher is behind the butcher there's a hole where he's discarding all of his chopped up rat pieces and body pieces did I say he? Yeah, I meant to say she. Yeah, the butcher is a female, fun fact. However, there is an item down here, and there's also a very large rat if you haven't killed it yet, so you gotta be mindful of that. Make sure to pick up the spider shield, and then there's a little shortcut bouncing right back down to the area that we were just previously in. So now it's time to go fight the boss. But first, there's just a couple more items that we gotta pick up on the way to them. You're gonna wanna run over to the entrance that's right next to the gate where the merchant is, and get running up the stairs, and there's gonna be a couple items that are tucked throughout this like hourly castle theme going on here this first section doesn't have anything the second layer does however you're gonna want to run over to the right and there's going to be a summon sign for solaire and there's also going to be a crossbow a heavy crossbow to be precise with some heavy bolt make sure the summon sun bro so you can get your free sunlight medal and then enter right on into the boss fight i made sure to heal up before taking on the gaping dragon so one thing i want to mention about the gaping dragon is you can actually chop off its tail so if you keep hacking and slashing at its tail you will eventually get the dragon king's great axe which is a very powerful weapon it does this gravitational slam when you use the special ability of it and it also hits pretty hard upon achieving victory you are rewarded with the blight town key if you summon sun bro you also get a sunlight medal you also get a twin humanity and a homework bone for defeating it as well and in the boss room there is a set of standard leather armor enjoy that one run back to where the merchant is and unlock blight town i'm blade seed studios thanks for watching my guide i appreciate it and i'm out